Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about generations, specifically Ultraman generations? Hello, Devoted Geeks, and welcome to Geek Devotions, the YouTube show from Devoted Geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they are loved. I'm Dallas, and I'm so glad you hit the play button. Do me a favor, if you like today's content, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and also consider subscribing to our channel. And if you hit the bell symbol, you'll be notified every time we update to this channel, which is about two to three times a week. So recently, Celeste and I have fallen into a binging spree of Ultraman. That's right, the new Netflix original anime series, Ultraman. And um, I, I don't know how it happened, but we're hooked. I asked Celeste, like, how, how did we get, how did this happen? And she's like, you said, let's watch one episode. And, and two hours later, we're still watching it. If you're unfamiliar with the Netflix original Ultraman, it's actually a continuation of Ultraman from the 60s? Really quite interesting. I've watched some of the Ultraman from the 60s, never had an opportunity to watch all of it, but I'm telling you guys, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm probably gonna go back and be watching quite a bit of it. So this is gonna have a little bit of spoilers for the first few episodes of the series, and also probably a big spoiler for the end of the original series, but hey, it came out in the 60s, so hey, can't fault that for having spoilers there. Anyways, this series picks up years in the future after the original series ends. And Ultraman is an older gentleman who uh, has forgotten who he is. He forgot that he was Ultraman, the alien being that empowered him, left and left him with amnesia. Years later, he had a kid and it turns out his kid has some special strength to himself also. And it was, again, the, the first couple of episodes are really interesting because they unpack this concept of there's this thing called the Ultraman gene. The American version of it says the Ultraman factor. I don't know why they did that, but basically there's been something that's left in them. And what happened was that the, what was left in the father has been passed down to the son. And now the son himself has these amazing abilities, this amazing strength. And through a series of unfortunate events has to take on the mantle of Ultraman. What I'm finding interesting about the series is the concept of generations passing down something to the next generation. Now, in this case, it's something very biological. He's passed down these genes. However, in another way, he's passed down the title. He's passed down the concept of being Ultraman. See, as this kid bro grew up in the in the world, he was taught about Ultraman. His dad taught him everything that he knew about the, the, the science division and everything else. And this kid grew up understanding the truth about Ultraman. But it wasn't until years later, when he's in the midst of everything else, that he had to make a decision. Am I going to own this identity, this thing that was given to me by my father, or not? And well, I'm proud to announce that he did. He took on the identity of Ultraman, and he's walking that out, and it's really quite interesting. This, of course, takes me back to our own walk as, as individuals. Whether you like it or not, our par your parents have passed things down to you. Some of them are really good, some of them not so good. And to you parents, whether you like it or not, you're passing things off to your own kids. Some of it's really good, some of it's not so good. So what are we supposed to pass down? What is all the responsibility of the parents of the, of the older generation to pass down to the next generation? Well, to be honest, if you fall like Celeste and I and we're Christians, our job is to pass down to the next generation our faith. Now, I'm not talking about brainwashing them, indoctrinating them, and all this other stuff, but I am talking about telling them the tales of what God has done, testifying about how he's moved in our lives, and presenting the gospel to them in a real and passionate way, and letting them decide. See, the thing is, you can't save your kids. You can't go, look, Johnny boy, you are a Christian. You can't do that. Christianity is not passed down that direction. It is owned by each individual. There comes a time in every child's life where they have to decide, will I live out the faith that my parents had or not? And that is what's taking place here. And there's some biblical ground for that, for passing these things down. In the book of Psalms, specifically chapter 78, it's this beautiful, very long psalm about passing down the stories and the heritage of, of God. Specifically in verse 4, we will not hide them from their children, but tell to the coming generation the glorious deeds of the Lord and his might and the wonders that he has done. And that singular verse is passing down the mandate to the followers of God to pass on the stories of what God has done, to pass down what he's done through them and in them. 
But if you read the entire chapter in context, something really interesting happens. Not only is he talking about passing down the good things, but even the bad things that happened. How the children of Israel had rebelled at times, and yet God had faithfully been with them and steered them back. See, a lot of times parents and, and adults don't want to tell the younger generation about their faults. Sometimes we have to share our faults. Sometimes we have to share our weaknesses to show the glory of God as he brought us from those things. So that is the responsibility of every one of us. We have to pass down our faith. We have to pass down the stories and glory that God has done in our life and through us to the next generation. And that leads me to the responsibility of the next generation. Guys, if you're listening to this and maybe maybe you haven't you know, really personally made a decision to follow Jesus. Maybe you've grown up in church. Maybe you're, you're some kid and your parents forcing you to watch this for some reason. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. (laughs) I want to encourage you in this. The stories that your parents are telling you about what God's done in our lives, the things that God has brought them through. You may not understand every bit of it, but I want you to take them to heart, specifically the aspect of the gospel, how Christ loved you so much that he died for you so that you don't have to go to hell so that you can have the opportunity to have everlasting life with the father in heaven the father who maybe if you didn't have a, a good father is a true example of a father i want you to take those stories in see just like shiro in the anime you have to make a decision are you going to walk this out Are you going to walk out this identity of being a follower of Jesus or not? Your parents have handed it to you. They've passed it off to you. It's your job to take it and run and do something great with it. At the same time, I want to encourage you, older folks, as you pass this down to the next generation, really hand it off to them. Give them the reins and let them run with it. And every step of the way, give them praise. Rejoice with them. Celebrate them. Let your ceiling be their floor so that they can run and do greater things than what you have done. One of the great things I've really enjoyed about the series is that the son has surpassed his dad already in so many ways. And he knew it. He knew that his son had greater potential than he did. One of the tragedies, though, that happens in episode four is that after Shiro has has won the day and he's defeated the alien, his dad is standing there on the sidelines and he said, hey, good job and his son said he's happy he's ecstatic but he realized that's the first time he's heard that from his father parents don't let time go by without telling your kids you're proud of them don't let time go by without letting them know that you're proud of the things that are inside of them and the things that they're walking in because they need that affirmation if you're affirming those things they will cling to those things a lot more So I feel like I've rambled a little bit, but I hope it makes sense. This whole thing of generations is really quite interesting and very beautiful. And there's so much more to unpack in it than what this short little YouTube video is all about. The main point is simply this. Parents, adults, pass down your faith. Pass down the stories of what God's done in your life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. At the same time, next generation, keep your ears open and heart open to receive these things. And then you, yourself, have to make a decision. You cannot be a Christian just because your parents were a Christian. You can be a Christian because you decide to own that identity and to walk it out. And as you do, I want to encourage the older generation, cheer them on. They may not look like you, they may not talk like you, but if they honor the Lord and they walk the ways that he has for them, celebrate that. Because if you do, we will see great things. We will see revival, we will see hope restored, we will see lives changed. So the question of the week is simply this, what old TV series would you like to see remade today? Leave comments down below, let me know. And also if you've seen the new Ultraman. Let me know. Leave comments. Tell me your thoughts because Celeste and I are pretty obsessed and and if we didn't have things to do tonight, we'd probably be watching more. 
With that said, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Don't forget, for more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our website, geekdevotions.com. From there, you can find all kinds of links to all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, if you'd like to support what's happening here at Geek Devotions, support our ministry, you can become a devoted Patreon geek, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can help make this thing run. Also, uh, maybe you're like, yeah, I want to do monthly dials. Hey, there's a one-time giving gift if you want to do that also. So, yeah, that's all I have to say, guys. A couple things. Remember, stay devoted. Peace and love.